Hello and welcome to Genie Cloud. Today we're going to demonstrate how easy the Genie is to use and how fast and productive it will make you. It will increase your productivity up to 50%. To start with, we're going to start with your report. We need the address, the city, state, fill out the county. We need all the improvements for the subject filled out. These will be used for the calculations for the adjustments. And room counts and a sketch, if, preferably if you have it, we need the sketch, if not, just the GLA. And I don't believe that's it. So we will get started. We'll click the dashboard. <clears throat> and we'll launch the Genie. Find the G Genie icon to launch the Genie. The data wizard from Alamode is exporting the report. We're going to use a currently open report and it's exporting it to the Genie Cloud and opening the Genie Cloud. While it's open in the Genie Cloud the subject will have public records pull for it. As the cloud comes up you'll have an option to register if you haven't used it before or log in. Once you've logged in once on the bottom left there's a remember me checkbox, you can check that and you will automatically be logged in just as I was. First we need to verify the subject information, the green asterisks are required fields for the genie to be able to do its calculations. This one's sufficiently filled out. Now we're going to put a 2 there. So, we click next, then we will select the effective date for our report. We'll select the form. There's multiple forms to choose from. You can include the REO addendum or the listings addendum. Um, if you'll notice there's a question mark. If you click on that question mark it will give you a brief description of what uh, that field is requiring. This is MLS acronym and that's the abbreviation for your local MLS. You can set these up in the default section I'll show you where that is, all the way to the far right. You click on that, there's many defaults in there you really need to set up prior to using the Genie that'll make your experience much more easier and much more automatic. And there's a how-to video on that page that a little red uh, video camera icon you can click that will walk you through the process. So we, and once they're set up on the defaults page, they'll auto-populate here. We can just use a drop down to select. There's up to eight MLS acronyms you can enter. We use a drop down to click yes or no if we want to include the cost approach in the report. <clears throat> it's really important you read this yellow box. States are starting to go after appraisers for not doing a thorough analysis of the neighborhood. And so we've designed the Genie that when you run your MLS search to search the entire neighborhood with no parameters, and export it and then come inside the genie and use the parameters here to narrow the neighborhood search down to, to your true comparable search. That way you get two searches in one. One for the neighborhood analysis on page one, and the true comps for page two, and the 1004MC. So I'm going to narrow mine. These are compared to the subject to 30% GLA plus or minus from the subject is what I want to narrow it down to. Reconciliation, I don't know how many of you know this, but USPAP requires you to reconcile the three value, three approaches. We give you the option of weighting them one to ten. The total needs to be ten. Um, I use, put all the weight on the sales comparison approach. Um, highest and best use, you can select the current use out of the uses for the subject. And then the possible use is up to sixth. And these will use in your highest and best use analysis that the Genie performs for you automatically. Next is land comp sales. Uh, many homes are in mature neighborhoods, so you won't have any land sales. And if that's the case, the Genie will use extraction, allocation, and regression to establish your land value. Otherwise, if you have land sales, you can enter them in this section just like you would the side-by-side -side grid and when you make the adjustments the 
put them in as a positive number and the correct adjustment will be made based on your selection neutral adverse or beneficial and Jenny does that automatically for you and then you can weight the comps and the reconcilia reconciliation will be done on the land page which is one of these up here on top the, uh, there's a lot of tabs up here on top all the details to all the adjustments and calculations are on the coinciding pages with these tabs so once we run the genies these tabs will come alive with all the details <clears throat> next is now the land sales section you don't have to use that that's only if you have land sales um, it's just an option we give you next is the square foot method if you if you ch prefer to use Marshall and Swift you can enter the data here and a genie will use that buildingcost.net is automatically pulled and used to calculate all the adjustments but if you prefer Marshall and Swift if you'll enter the information here that will override buildingcost.net um, we give you an option of two floor coverings and you can put what percentage of the total each one is and so and we also give you um, import the subject information as a reminder what what kind of air conditions you know energy efficiency square foot of the garage what and you can't add if you're like me whenever you look Marshall and Swift up you can't remember what the square foot of the garage was so we're giving you reminders here so once you've completed this you click start new report um, go to your download click on your MLS search that you've exported double click it and the genie goes to work the genie is now scrubbing your MLS and what that means is it's every single comp is being having the address verified with the post office plus we're pulling the longitude and latitude for every comp so the comps can be graded when the scrubbing gets done they'll be they'll be graded by closest proximity most recent sale date and the least adjustments <clears throat> now sometimes it doesn't narrow the search down as much as you want it to so you can click and select the outliers and click delete selected comps and, and they will go away Anything on this page will be reflected in your 1004MC. So I'm going to choose a few comps. Comps are sorted by souls, active, and pendings. And I'll show you another feature here. We import a lot of data. If you're looking for a particular bedroom count or any other amenity that you need to bracket, you can click on that heading name and that column will be sorted for you your selections will still be selected and you can go down and find that bedroom you need to bracket your subject so when you're done selecting comps click next the genie will now type the comps it will pull public records on the comps and in a couple of seconds it will give you uh, anything that has a discrepancy between the MLS and the public records you'll have a pop-up up here that gives you the discrepancy um, the MLS number the public record number and we have a genie peer database the peer database is a running average of what your peers are saying about that property that's exclusive to the genie you'll notice the subject the comps address what field we've got the discrepancy in are all here so you get to decide which one you want to use and there's a button for each method or each value or you, below that is a use all <clears throat> if you like all the MLS numbers you can click that and it will go through and correct them all automatically I prefer the public records I trust it better so I'm going to click that one so Jenny's already auto corrected the major fields with public records you'll notice this one's highlighted red. The red means the genie has changed that field from the MLS number to the whatever number you selected. Also, if there's any previous sales, they're automatically pulled and populated for you. Over here in the green letters are the adjustments. These <clears throat> adjustments 
coincide with the row they're on. Match pairs, allocation, extraction, and regression. If it's blank, it's because there was nothing. It's either less than zero, the calculation was, or there was not available um, uh, enough comps available that would have bracketed a match pairs. So <clears throat> I like the allocation better method better on the. Now this is the total land value. That's the only field we do that in. We give you the option to see what the calculated land value is of the subject, so you'll know which method coincides with your opinion of the value. So in this particular one, I like the allocation better. I'm just going to click that number, and the adjustment's automatically applied for me. Um, go down to the GLA adjustments and garage adjustments. It's that simple. All the math's done for you. If there's zeros that need to be in place, the Genie does it automatically for you. Net and gross is automatically calculated. Um, be having trouble remembering what um, architectural sky, style? I've got them all listed here for you. Click the checkbox of the one you want. Oop, I guess I need to check one. And that will do it. F2, just like in all mode, if you want to copy something across, click that field, hit F2. If you want to make a percentage adjustment, percent 10, enter. Calculates 10% of the sales price and automatically enters it. If you want that to be a negative adjustment, percent minus 10. I'll put in a, my, a negative adjustment. It's that fast. So now that we've made our adjustments, oh, here's something I forgot to mention. If your MLS will export the links to the photos, the main photo of the comp, in your comp search page, a thumbnail of that photo will be displayed and you can click on it. In this page, in this blank cell right here, had there been a photo link, there would have been a photo, uh, just like tax records, there would have been photo here and you click on it, a photo pops up. Um, if your MLS doesn't export the photo page, a lot of times you can call them and they'll do it. They'll add it for you. So if you click on the agent, many times you got to contact the agent, They'll populate with the phone numbers, emails, and their remarks about the property when available. Tax records, the owner, parcel, site, everything's right there in front of you. It's that simple. If you want to export multiple comps or no comps, simply check the checkbox on the top. If you uncheck it, that comp will not be exported into your report, but it will be saved in your work file. So you can prove you considered that comp. <clears throat> There's details and details in all these pages on top. I'm not going to go through them all today. We'll do videos later to explain the adjustment methods and whatnot. I'm going to show you the graphs. <clears throat> graphs are automatically calculated. Cool little feature here. If you drag the line across, you can tell exactly what was happening at that time. You can export up to 10 graphs. All these will be placed in your work file, so you'll have copies. In addition to every page up here, a PDF copy will be automatically placed in your work file, so you'll have it for future reference. That's what we call a bulletproof work file. So when we're done, we click Export to Report. I'm going to go back and use the same land value. Click Next. And the Genie is now exporting all your comps that quickly, all the pages and all the graphs to the report. We're waiting for the Alamo Data Wizard to load up. Here it comes. I'm going to select, <clears throat> well, first, before I do that, normally you would merge into your open report. But it's real important to click Replace the Data in My Report. Alamo has that in there. If you don't use that, if there's anything in the field other than an empty string, an empty field, it will not let the genie put 
data into that field. So we recommend you click that bottom number. But I'm going to click the top one today because I want to show you all the fields that get exported. So the data wizard is importing the genie's results and opening a new report. And we'll go take a look at the form. The genies automatically pull the owner, legal, parcel number, taxes, tax year, one unit housing trends, or check boxes are marked, high lows and predominance, site size, a lot of uh, public records don't export the dimensions, we can't pull them. Uh, zoning, I have not been able to find a uh, reliable source for zoning. I've asked realists, they won't even do it because zoning changes. Uh, all the subject information has been exported back in the report. Top of page two, sales and listings were analyzed and done for you. All the comps are back in, all the adjustments. If there were, had have been any previous sales in this particular one, these check boxes would have been marked accordingly. The, the uh, previous sale information would have been filled out. And in our defaults, you'll find that there are comments that you can edit with drop downs from the genie to select fields that would have populated the previous sales information and a lot of other 1004 MC fields cost approach. Reconcile value. Effective date, all the cost information, additional comp pages are added as needed. 1004 MC is auto populated with the check boxes, and here's one of those comments I was talking about. And with that, and if there are any REOs that are over, if the REO number of sales is over 10% of the comparable sales, the REO factor will be um, completed and filled out for you. Again, using one of those defaults comment sections that you can edit. If you're, you're doing a condo, the condo section is completed automatically. And if we go to the work file, you'll see that all the pages are exported, all of the graphs are exported, Here's one I want to open up and show you. This is a property report. Tax assessor information, MLS numbers, public record numbers, and an analysis in previous sales history for the subject and for the comps. Automatically done for you. Placed in your work file. That is what we call a bulletproof work file. And that shows you just how easy the genie and how fast it is. Ten minutes you can do your report. Everything's done for you except the narrative and your photos and maps. That is how the genie cloud can increase your productivity up to 50%. Give you a couple of extra hours a day to do another report or make more money or go fishing or golfing. If you have any suggestions, we're always looking for ways to improve the genie. Please let us know. We appreciate your business. And if you hadn't already done so, sign up for the Genie today. It will greatly increase your quality of life and remove a lot of stress from you. And we appreciate you. Thank you.